One that you wanna listen to. One that you wanna listen to. One that you wanna listen to. This is James Appleton uh, reporting for Mer TV, Manchester Underground Rap today. Back in central Manchester, over in St Anne's Square, outside there, uh, Starbucks here. And we have another special guest of mine, but today it's Sean O'Mac. How you doing, mate? Thank you so much for coming along today. It's a pleasure to have a chat with you and everything. So, obviously you're in the uh, Don't Flock competition. Yeah. So can you tell us a bit about that? It must have been a, a great opportunity. Um, yeah, we had a, a battle against a guy from Liverpool called 2K. It was um, a pretty interesting battle. It's not going up to the 15th of May, though. It's like a, a lost, but not not without like like a good fight. It didn't go down without a good fight. I reckon it was like a pretty close battle, and people have told me since it's just my delivery that let me down really. Apparently, so just have to see what feedback I get when it goes up. I was I was watching the I was watching the don't flop on the, on the internet. I will tell you something, some stiff competition there. I mean, it's quite hard going. I mean, there's, I mean, there's a lot of like serious stuff going down there, isn't there? Yeah, yeah, there is a, a good lot of good uh, big rappers in there. And big names in there representing, and like there's a lot going on with it at the minute. Um, it's like people from Grind Time and American Rap Battle League have been coming over and battling people from Don't Flop and like the other way around as well. And I think Don't Flop have got plans to go to King of the Dot this year as well, yeah, which yeah. is the Canadian Rap Battle League. So uh, just don'tflop.com, go on that and see what's happening with it all basically. So are you going to be going um, on to any more Don't Flop I mean, competitions? I mean, there's a few more coming up at the moment, isn't there? So are you going to sort of jump in on them? Um, yeah, there's a, a few more in the pipeline, uh, which I've, I've put my name down for, but I haven't, I haven't had po opponents confirmed for as of yet, so I can't really like say I will be battling at such a thing, because I don't know, but um, I'll just have to wait and see what happens with that, really. But I have got a few battles in mind at the minute. Cool. Just need to wait and see. So have you? I mean, obviously you, you you write your own lyrics and stuff. I mean, have you got any? Um, you think of making an album at the moment, or any singles, or anything like that? And um, there's there's two EPs in mind at the minute. There's Beyond the Tenth Dimension, which is the Grime Deviants collaboration, me and Blizzard. And there's Maximum Volume One, which will be dropping later this year. It should be a free download thing, which is uh, a solo one. But um, more more news on that to come. Really, it's just in in the pipeline at the minute. On, and, and as well, you, you, you're good friends with Blizzard as well, he's a, he's a great MC, you know, he's, he's got his materials fantastic, I mean he's only, what, 15, but he's got the talent and he's already got, got to be coming on tour with Mer TV yeah. in a few months time, so I mean, he's, he's a great guy to work, so tell a bit about him, you know. Um, he's really one to watch at the minute, like, uh, for, like, his ability for his age is just like, it's through the roof at the minute, man, people need to watch out for him, say no more, really. That's it, so uh, apart... So, so have it. you got any more uh, uh, t any tours coming up or anything you're going to be jumping on anyone else's gigs or anything like that at the moment? Um, nothing 100% at the minute, but it's like, like I say, another wait, I have to wait and see really. I haven't got anything planned as of yet, but maybe things will come up for later this year or something that I'll, I can see about and see about it anyway. Well, I suppose the, the good thing is, I mean, with him being in the Don't Flop uh, competition, I mean, that's good publicity. Yeah. I mean, I suppose now, like, people have sort of had a taste of the not sort of know a bit about you and stuff. I suppose it'll probably open doors up for you uh, down the line, further down the line, won't it? Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, um, I mean, are you gonna, are you gonna do like any like albums with Blizzard or feature on any of his tours or? Um, this the Beyond the Tenth Dimension thing. Um, we was discussing something a minute ago about the like a tour which uh, should be going on with him and like as, as well with like the don't flop thing I say it's publicity as well like um, there's a few people I've met through the don't flop thing who uh, we've got things in the pipeline with such as um, Nate from Sheffield, uh, 2k from Liverpool and a few other people so that's um, a few more collaborations in the pipeline anyway so we'll just have to see. Yeah, I've just been saying, like, obviously, like, no, Mer TV's been set up. I mean, I've been saying to the other artists, I mean, I reckon this year we stand a good chance of us all working together, yeah. of getting a better fame and also getting a better recognition for what we do and stuff. I mean, obviously, you, mean, you specialise more in dubstep or grime, you're, pretty, you're quite flexible when it comes to doing your material. Um, I'm quite flexible, really. I think I can flow to grime, hip hop, uh, dubstep, anything like that, really. Yeah. Just. It's, it, However it sounds to me really, I'm sure I can write something to it and quite adaptable I'd say, but um, it's like them, them particular sort of genres that uh, I'm looking to do this year, but um, there's a few other things where I was thinking about rapping over rock instrumentals and stuff like that yeah, and yeah. just get thinking out of the box really and see what other genres I can branch into. 
But you see, the thing is, I think I think that would work well putting a bit of rock in there because I've noticed um, not many people have like a distinctive sound. Because like one of the girls we've got on board now, Amy B, we saw she was at the um, open mic competition. She's in the finals now, and she's got like a very unique sound, she's, like bit, bit of rocky, you know, n not your typical dubstep or grime. It's sort of like with a difference. Yeah. And I think you're absolutely right there. I think it's about being able to adapt and maybe have different beats and do something unique. And I think that's a, a good road for you to go down. Yeah, it uh, sh should be interesting to see how it sounds. It's um. It's, like it's already proved successful like with other artists like Jay-Z and Linkin Park yeah, collaborated yeah, yeah, on, yeah. on that sort of thing and it proves quite successful. They had a whole album out, I think, off it. But um, yeah, it's, it, it is sort of like there's not many artists who, who've done it at a minute and it would be good to do that and be successful with it and see how it goes. That's it. I mean, you, you seem to be on the right track already. I mean, obviously, you, you, your name's out there. Um, I mean, obviously, I suppose, I mean, this is how, how it all starts off. I mean, this is what Murti reads about. It's everybody starts off on the streets. And this is how you get to one day be, going the, be coming on the mainstream market. It's just about getting a, a lucky break, isn't it? Yeah. And it's about getting, uh, you know, getting the right people to work with you. And it's not easy these days, but I think 2010, this year, it, we're going to get a lot of artists working together. And I think it's going to, I think London Bridge is going to be burning down this year. Because we're going to, I mean, it's yeah. London, this London done that but I reckon Manchester's you know is going to be there this year I mean it's it, we, we're getting so many falls and recognition now for what we're doing it's, it's fantastic man yeah. it's like um, Manchester's really stepped up this year like we're getting recognition off the other cities and it's like it's, uh, Westwood's had a, a few Manchester artists on there which uh, hadn't really been done before yeah. like say a year ago and um, it's like the the high, the high rise movement like yeah. shot in hypes and that there doing transatlantic, transatlantic stuff and making a name for themselves overseas and it's yeah. just like, it's Man Manchester's time to shine really. That's it. Mm. I mean th this year, without any question for that, it's going to be a big year. I mean there's that, there's that many different dubstep, you know, different types of sounds and unique people coming out of the world work. It's unbelievable. I mean I remember in the 90s, I mean I remember when there's loads of people on Market Street spitting and everyone was, there's all so much going on everybody used to work together but now there's sort of like little groups that have sort of just gone off now and they don't sort of work together as much as what they used to. It's quite a shame really, isn't it? Yeah, um because like at the end of the day, we want city and we should really be be working together to try and get the the city as a whole out there into the scene. But there are a lot of people who it's like it's become a bit segregated at the minute. Like too much beef going on with the music and stuff. That's but right. hopefully, like there'll be a lot of working together in Manchester over this coming couple of years and see where it takes us as a city. That's so. right. I mean, obviously you, you're a Withenshaw lad, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I mean, I'm gonna be like, because obviously there's a, the big ghettos in Withenshaw. You have got Benshaw, you got Woodhouse Park. But having said that, I mean, there's a lot of talent there. Yeah. Um, in, in those areas, I mean, I've, again, I'm going to be working with a lot of artists from there and also I'm going to be putting in the Women's Show papers and also going to the Women's Show FM because I believe if we get those people to work together, I reckon it'd be a hell of a lot of power there. What do you reckon about that? Yeah, yeah, there are there are quite a few big names in, in Women's Show at the minute, like Lyrical D and yeah, uh, yeah. Styler as well. Styler's one to watch this year, I'd say, yeah. from Women's Show. But um, there, is, there is quite a good few spitters everywhere, but like in my opinion, there's like too many people like putting the same sort of material out and flooding it yeah. and then you don't really get the opportunity to shine when you you have got the thing but that's it. it's like we'll see anyway it's like a show itself or it that's right uh. well uh, thanks for coming along today yeah, it's been a so pleasure absolute pleasure speaking to you this is going straight out to the fans this is Mer TV, Manchester Underground Rap it is the place to be you're going to be seeing a lot of myself this year and these guys as well so take care and I'll see you all soon